So it's important because there are lots of overweight men uh, and obese men, and we don't have uh, many treatments available to them that are tolerable and effective. And we also know, especially in uh, the US, a lot of men are receiving testosterone treatment, and we don't really know whether there is a lot of um, efficacy for the treatment and also potential for side effects. So it's important to continue our research into the role of testosterone in men uh, in regards to weight loss. So we conducted a double-blind randomised placebo controlled trial, a very rigorous trial design. We included men who were obese with a low testosterone level and all men in the trial had a very low calorie diet for 10 weeks, followed by normal foods but with a weight maintenance uh, diet. Then half of the men were randomised to receive testosterone injections to raise their testosterone to the normal level from a low level and the other half just received dummy placebo injections. So we know that when men are dieting, they lose weight, but as part of that, they lose fat mass and also lean mass, which may not be desirable. Uh, we know that testosterone treatment can help men to lose fat mass and uh, gain or stabilize their lean mass. But we don't know whether testosterone treatment helps men to lose further fat mass on top of that achieved by dieting. And we were also interested to see whether testosterone treatment in dieting men helps them to maintain their lean mass that they would otherwise lose through dieting. So we found that both groups of men, so those receiving testosterone and placebo, lost similar amounts of body weight through uh, the low calorie diet and through the weight maintenance phase. But when we looked more specifically at fat mass, we found that men who were receiving testosterone lost more fat mass compared to those receiving the dummy. And we also found that men who just had the diet and the dummy without any testosterone lost a fair bit of lean mass, whereas those who received testosterone had no significant loss of lean mass over the course of the trial. So currently the endocrine guidelines uh, suggest testosterone treatment in men who have clearly low testosterone levels along with uh, symptoms of low testosterone. Uh, we're the first group to show that testosterone treatment leads to further reductions in fat mass on top of diet and preservations of lean mass. So before this can be rolled out into clinical care, uh, we would need to perform uh, more and larger studies to confirm these findings. Probably the most significant uh, part was that men did lose a fair amount of fat mass on top of the diet uh, with the addition of testosterone, and this was the main goal of the study. We also looked at a few other secondary outcomes which hadn't been well characterised in men receiving testosterone. And we found that men who were receiving testosterone tended to walk more uh, and to be more active in their general life compared to those who were receiving placebo had no significant change in their day-to-day -day activity levels. Uh, so I think the study needs to be replicated in larger and different groups of men. Uh, and then we can see whether this will be ready for clinical practice. Yes, so the trial went for 56 weeks and we plan to follow these men up after a further one year to see whether their uh, benefits are maintained at that time point. So it's uh, often a very difficult decision as to whether men should receive testosterone if they have a low testosterone level. And we hope that this and other trials will help to inform clinical practice in the years ahead.